everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Me and uh, Gary the Greyhound welcome you to our channel. Our channel. Gary doesn't really get a say. <laughs> anyway, today's basically uh, a shorter video. Hopefully, it's a continuation from the last video where I break up a PPG Multi Pro. Uh, you know, it begged forgiveness, and I gave another can another chance. I had a half a can that's been sitting into in my closet for a couple weeks so I got it out gave it a good mix and uh, no bueno not at all so brought out the uh, tricorn black again and uh, I think this is a pretty little painting let me get you down and see what you think I guess I kind of need it to be um, the same like if it's going to look like this it needs to look like this all the way through and vice versa. If it's going to have a big, heavy black vine going through it, then I need it to go everywhere. Because to me, it, it looks off. Not happy. Now see, why can't the white be like this tricorn black? And if you like this, I'm sorry, but it really was unbalanced. You have to admit, like, it was definitely unbalanced. So, I'm going to make up some colors. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I switched up the color palette completely. I have three different shades of gold and I think Athena, but this is was covered and mixed up from something else and I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it's Athena pigment from this little piggy. And we're gonna start with we're gonna start with Cronacridone Gold from Utrecht. That is not Cuneg. And then we're going to do regular iridescent gold fine. And then Athena, I think. If I got that wrong, I'll fix it in the description section. And then some iridescent gold bright. And then I think I'm going to do white CA. And then black. All right, here we go again.
I literally could not see what was black and what was so activator. <laughs> I was just blowing things in the blind pretty much, but mmm, dreamy, dreamy color combo. Loving it. Kind of, I just whipped that up too with like very little thought. Like, yeah, these, these will go good. <laughs> Let's spin this. Take off the old stuff. I'm waiting for one line to go to touch the edge. There it goes. All right. Holy. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm just a lucky SOB. <laughs> I really do. Uh, that's gorgeous. Like, holy cow. That is just gorgeous. Um, I'm going to take off the white ghost at the corner and this little thingy right there. And then we'll give it a skewer test, make sure we got enough paint off. But I dig in this color combo for real. Yeah. Hold on one sec. Let me see. Is that enough? Get that weird shadow off the corner. I have one blue cell <laughs> that's left over from whatever was underneath here. Isn't this color palette like so much more sophisticated than the last iteration? I mean, I know it's personal preference, but to me, this is just way more sophisticated. Like the other one I would hang up maybe um it had had it not been um so wonky like um with the line weight at the top and the bottom i would have um maybe hung it in a bathroom or something this one goes in the living room or somewhere prominent because um it's a super pretty now the thing is it's super pretty now but you know i got some uh let me look at the transparencies of my color. So anything cornacridone is transparent. The golds are, well, iridescent gold bright is transparent. Hmm. It'll be interesting because everything is transparent. Three golds and a pigment. So this is probably going to dry a lot darker than how it looks now, which Hopefully we'll be okay because man, do I love this just the way it is right now. Let me do a skewer test. I'm kind of worried that there's still a little too much paint on here. I'm trying to see what the consequences of my spinning would be. I'd probably lose like this little thing here, which would be okay. No big loss. It's not too bad. Just for safety's sake, I'm just going to give one spin just to take off as much paint as I can. Um, I don't think it'll hurt anything composition-wise. Yeah, I got a bunch bunch more to fly off, especially on the bottom. Beautiful. And my blue cell just won't go away, <laughs> which is so funny. I'm just going to stick my end of my skewer and twist it and pull up and see that? It's just like, I'm just going to keep coming back. And I'm going to like turn it into a line because now it's white. And it can be like a faint line that runs off. And it's going to keep doing that until it gets 
thinner and thinner and thinner until it looks like it's supposed to be there. There we go. Oh, and as soon as I say that, another one pops up right there. We're just going to bury you. Bye. All right, let me get you down for a close-up. I totally forgot to film the wet results. <laughs> I must have gotten busy cleaning up and, you know, packed up and went home. <laughs> anyway, it's a couple days later. I am thrilled with this one. Uh, I think the color showed up phenomenally, all those different shades of gold. Um, with the piggy, it just looks amazing. Uh, this one's definitely going to get resin, and it's a, on a thin canvas, so I think I'm going to get a... a uh, you know, 10 by 20 floater frame for this guy and give it a coat of resin and put it up for sale. Speaking of sales, I have a Black Friday sale going on where pretty much just about everything you see in my studio is 20% off, which is nice, you know, save a couple bucks, 20% off. But to me, the big winning or big winning, the big savings <laughs> is free shipping. I'm giving free shipping for a week and um, that means if you want to get one of these big guys and have me foot the bill for shipping, that's what I would do because uh, I don't offer that very often. So I would snag that deal if you can. Uh, I also offer payment plans if something is, you know, a few hundred dollars and it's Christmas time, I totally get it. Just shoot me a note and we'll work something out. And this guy here, I didn't film it, but I love it. I'm not so sure I want to sell this one. Basically, I blew out paint. I was practicing with the hair dryer without cell activator and then took a Posca pen and outlined all the different shades that I found in the painting and then gave it a coat of resin. And uh, it looks pretty great, I think. I really like that guy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to turn around today. Uh, you guys take care. Be well. Hopefully a shorter one for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.